Hello everyone, this is Marlon from Catspace, and in this video I will show a quick introduction and orientation to SolarWorks' Property Tab Builder. Now the Property Tab Builder is a standalone application that helps control your custom properties for SolarWorks parts, assemblies, and drawings. In a way it will help non-PDM users streamline the data that would be used within the company, so things like part description, oh sorry, part number, item description, who designed it at what and what date for example um, and control that especially for being able to use it um, in a SolarWorks drawing later on. What you see in front of you here is what the property type builder looks like and the way that it's set out um, it's split into essentially three columns so on the left side where my mouse is hovering you will see that there are a bunch of boxes these boxes um, are the ways that we can represent our information um, for both our uh, custom properties located in the task pane. So if you see here, that's uh, one way of representing our data and it's controlled by these uh, boxes. The second column, which is this custom properties column, essentially is a preview of sorts uh, for how it'll appear on our design or task pane on the right of the SolarWorks user interface. So you can see at the moment, um, we have um, two, essentially two group boxes, which we'll delve into a little later, and you can see that it's represented very similarly um, my, uh, in the actual property tab builder file and in the SolarWorks user interface. The control attributes um, is, the, is basically where you label um, what the box in the custom properties column represents. And you're able to specify if the custom property will appear for the entire model or let it be configuration specific. And at the same time, it behaves, for those of you who have filled in custom properties before, it behaves the same way or very similar um, to how you would write things or write properties in your file properties um, dialog box. To delve a little further, um, all the boxes here are stackable so in this case what I mean by that is a group box is the overall section and you can add things like text box, lists, numbers, checkbox, radios um, all into that group box. This group has, is a specific set um, of items but to, be able to delve a little further um, from text box to radio they go into group boxes. Text box as it sounds will, will give you the ability to uh, put in or specify a text property. A list shown here as an example from the design by um, box you can then put um, predetermined values in list form no surprise and you'll be then be able to when we go when we check this later on um, we can see that all these number values that we've typed here are all um, able to be accessed on the task pane itself now the check uh, the checkbox and radio boxes they're in a way a um, organizes your data into like a yes no output sort of uh, idea so if you have something ticked you can specify it to be a value if unticked then we could say it's a different value etc um, a number text box is essentially a essentially a spin box um, that that goes from zero to uh, whatever number it needs to be and a list group is a more advanced or well I would say liberally uh, an advanced version of the list uh, box but the reason why it's a little bit more advanced is because it's in an Excel, um, it's Excel driven. Now to give you a little idea of how to construct um, specific um, custom properties with Tab Builder, for example here, um, I need to add on to this existing file a material um, or how to or basically get SolarWorks to recognize um, we want to specify a material. And for that, for example, it'll fall under the documentation properties group box. So in this case, this one that I'm highlighting. So I'll just drag in a text box. It's a simple drag and drop operation for the most part. And here with a text box, I wanted to specify, or basically not just say text box in the custom properties and hence in the, in the task pane, I wanted to say specifically material. You can see the real time changes. Here in the custom property attributes, this is what will be filled in the file properties itself when you are um, done filling it in in the task pane. Now in this case, we want to make sure that it says material as well. It'll be, a uh, in this case, a text value. And then for those of you um, curious, you can 
add in like you know a typed value or you can actually attach it to a particular SOLIDWORKS attribute um, itself. So in this case, I'm attaching it to the SOLIDWORKS material uh, property, which we will see how it will behave later. But at, at, in essence, we can leave this blank, we can pre-fill a value, or we can attach it to a SOLIDWORKS property. Now, from here, make sure that it's on uh, global custom property, and we can, uh, we can then save the file. And then from here, will inspect it. In this case here, I will make sure that I come back here and to basically fix it for um, for SOLIDWORKS to recognize you've added a, uh, what's called again, a, prop a property tab builder file. What we need to do here is we need to uh, refresh or essentially here to add a uh, property tab builder uh, file in SOLIDWORKS. It's under file locations and custom property files. You add the folder that needs to be added. And in this case, because it's all, it was already specified um, earlier ago, all I need to do here is I need to basically refresh my template. And you can see that after getting it refreshed, I then now have to. Uh, well, I can see that my changes reflect. So in this case, because I made it, uh, made the material field uh, get attached to um, Sol uh, to SolidWorks's um, functionality, I can see that I can easily pick out my material from here. I can also see from my list. These were the pre-filled values I had from my property tab builder, and then part number I've attached it to the file name and I can add a description. Once, for example, here, I've pre-filled the data, I then just have to click on Apply. And when I inspect my file properties, you can see that earlier ago in the video, it was actually blank. Now it actually has um, pre-filled values once I hit Apply. If I wanted to, I can see that I didn't specify material, but if I chose a material here in this case, it'll reflect the changes here as well. And from here, um, one of the main things here to note is that even though we're in the file, um, the part file, it's still possible to have um, specific property tab builder files for the drawing and the assembly. The only thing that you need to do is that when you save it, it will come as a default .prt PRP file. You only need to do is just change it or rename the extension to DRW PRP for drawings and ASM .asm PRP for assemblies. There you'll then be able to attach it the same way um, to your assembly and drawing files as well. Um, and then at the same time, what I should say is that it could also be used to help supplement, supplement your existing custom properties for those of you who already have made uh, particular custom properties for your part assembly or drawings. Um, and don't worry about if um, you have an existing um, custom property that's within this tab builder. So for example, if you have a description, um, if you have a description custom property already in your in your template and it appears here in your property tab builder, any overlapping information will already be pre-filled in. Um, and at, and then from here, at the same at the same token, you can then see that property tab builder in a way can help um, those of you who use different templates um, or even no templates at all you can easily standardize the information um, that is within your part and assembly and drawing files. Um, and those of you who are definitely familiar with using uh, or linking properties from the drawing, uh, from the part to the drawing, it's something that you can easily do because the custom properties will be written into um, here with the part file or assembly file itself. Now, from this, this was the, uh, the video and Hope you enjoyed this. Please keep out for our next video.